If you're a project car junkie like me, you have a deeply seated need to have everything in your engine bay look spotless year after year. For many parts, this means powder coating. However, for exhaust components such as manifolds, headers, and turbine housings, you need something special, ceramic coating. Typically, you have to send out parts to a specialist for ceramic coating, which I personally find to be a hassle, and beyond that, it can be quite expensive. A couple years ago, I learned that Ceracote, one of the leading manufacturers of ceramic coatings, sells a line of air cure ceramic coatings. These provide you the benefits of a high temperature coating without the need to bake it in an oven to cure. Now this means you can do this in your garage yourself. All you need is a sample bottle of Ceracote, a cheap HVLP touch-up sprayer, and an air compressor. Today I'm using exactly those items to refinish the manifold and turbine housing for my Volvo 242's 5-cylinder engine. Now in my case, this manifold was already on the car and had been run for a couple years. So the first step is taking it off, removing all the components, stripping it down to the bare parts that you want to have coated. And from there, it's really important to get it clean enough that the ceramic coat is going to be able to adhere to the surface. You don't have any grease or oil in there and you have a good scuffed surface coating to work with. With all the parts removed from the manifold, next it's time to start cleaning up and prepping the surface. Now, this actually applies to even a new part. Um, even if you have something that's brand new, a, you know, new out of the box manifold or turbine housing, you do still want to scuff the surface and clean it to get any of the oils off of the surface that are there from the manufacturing process. So, in my case, I used a Milwaukee M12 right angle die grinder with a wire wheel on that. After that, it's time to rub it down with some grease, wax, and oil remover, and we are good to go, ready to get this coated. Now from here, it's time to start getting it ready to actually paint. And in this case, I gotta go ahead and mask everything off. Anything that we don't wanna have ceramic coat. I don't want ceramic getting inside of the turbo or inside of the manifold. So we'll go ahead and tape this off, use some towel to block off the larger openings and painter's tape for the rest. And with that, your part should be ready to spray. But wait, you need to make sure to shake up your Cerakote. The instructions say spend five to 15 minutes shaking this up, and they're not joking. You're probably used to shaking up rattle cans for spray paint and other things. This is not like that. You really need to spend a lot of time mixing this up, and just when you think you're done, mix it some more. Now that your arm's sore from shaking up your Cerakote, it's time to spray. Grab the air hose and let's go. Cerakote recommends that you set your HVLP gun's air pressure to 20 to 30 PSI. Now if you've ever used an HVLP gun before to spray on any sort of paint or coating, this is about as easy as it gets. It's very forgiving, especially given the surfaces that you're usually coating here. We're not going for a mirror gloss shine or anything like that, we're just going for a good, solid, thick, even coating here.
In case I didn't stress this enough before, you need to take five minutes at least to shake up your Cerakote, otherwise it will not be combined and it will not spray correctly. Once you have two to three coats on the surface, you should be looking pretty good. Now in most cases, you're gonna use most of that four ounce bottle, but you probably won't need all of it. In my case, I used a little bit more than necessary because I knew I wasn't gonna use this for anything else. So I just went ahead and keep spraying until I used up all of that bottle. With that, let's check out the results. And that's it for today. I hope you found this helpful. Tune in again soon to see more progress on rebuilding the turbocharged 5-cylinder engine for my Volvo 242. Now that the manifold is prepped, it's time to rebuild the engine and bolt up the freshly rebuilt Garrett GTX 3067R. If you like this video or you're interested in seeing more projects from my garage, including my 5-cylinder swapped Volvo, E30, or E36 projects, drop a comment below. While you're at it, Feel free to like or subscribe. That lets me know that you're interested in this and I should keep doing it. Thanks for watching.